Hi guys, we're Jenna here and I'm back with a new 12x12 process video for Confessions of Paper Edit Cut Files. I'm using this gorgeous um, flowers and leaves. Um, no, it's not flowers and leaves. I probably should have my phone with me. <laughs> Feathers and flowers <laughs> uh, cut file um, from the shop. Um, yeah, I love it. It's a gorgeous little floral cluster with a few feathers in it. And I'm just going to work my way through backing the cut file now. I'm using a hip kit club kit. I'm not sure what month it was. It was that really kind of boho themed one, which goes perfectly with this um, cut file. And there was a gorgeous floral um, print on that blue background, which matches, coordinates with Ad the dress that Addie's wearing in the photo. She's got a blue dress with um, lots of flowers on it. So, yeah, so the photos are of Addie and Eva. We were at Church Road Winery, which is just next door to us, um, having lunch for. Eddie's birthday, sounds a bit weird going there <laughs> for a, a kid's birthday, um, but we did that and um, my, her, my stepfather's birthday is the day before Eddie's, um, his is on the 7th and hers is on the 8th, so um, we did a little joint little lunch for them, so hence why we went to the winery, <laughs> uh, it was a really nice lunch, little family lunch, um, and then of course we had a little party as well for Eddie's, but yeah. Um, so I've gone ahead and I've backed that cut file. I did a little pattern paper mat behind each of those photos. And I've chosen my background pattern paper. It's this really like kind of sandy yellow uh, pattern paper. And it's, it's almost like a dream catcher kind of design on the background. Which just again goes perfectly. So I'm going to work my way through embellishing now. Um, this is my first time using this kit. I think it might actually be the only time I've used it. Um, I really loved it when I saw it and I got it home and... <laughs> actually kind of struggling with how to use it perhaps I'll get it out for some more summer layouts it's a very very nice kit um, but yeah a little bit different okay so looking through one of the die cut packs I know that there's some feathers and some really pretty little bits so I'm just sifting through pulling through out some leaves um, a little feather just trying to kind of tuck some bits and pieces and that cut file, and you can see that I didn't back every bit of that cut file, I just did the main bits, the two feathers and the flowers, and then those leaves I've just kind of left white on their own. Um, I didn't feel the need to kind of back with those little bits, you totally can if you want to. Um, okay, so moving on from the die cuts, there's these acetate, I guess they're kind of like mandalas and doilies. I try this blue one, but it just kind of seems to take away from... Um, the rest of the page and that gorgeous cut file in my photos so decided to leave that off um, there's some wood veneer there which I like the idea of because it's a very earthy kind of page um, oh I haven't done the photo mats yet sorry I thought I had <laughs> here we go I'm doing them now <laughs> um, this is a pocket page card from the pocket page kit um, gorgeous wood grain pattern so I'm just doing a thin layer of that there we go <laughs> um, yeah so I'll just tuck them back Rough up the edges a little bit with my paper distressor. Pop that second photo up in some foam. I like to do that with the, if the photos are quite similar. Um, the one that's kind of closest to your view, I will pop up on foam and have that be the one that's kind of really forefront um, in my design. Okay, trying to get this wood veneer on. I don't think I do get any on, no. Um, looking through the chipboard nothing really in there. There is this package of flowers, you just kind of can create your own, um, but there is an image on the back which um, shows you I guess their suggestion for layering up all of those bits and pieces. So I actually just sat down and I spent a good half an hour just putting together all those flowers. Then they were ready to go, I felt like that was the best option for me to use them, otherwise I'm not going to sit there and do it. Um, I'm not going to try to put them together so there we go you can see up the top top right hand corner all those flowers are assembled so they are much easier to use um, and yeah just looking through there's some puffy titles and phrases so I like this one that says best photo the color was really neutral and I could slot it in there perfectly under my photos so there we go best photo is my title <laughs> probably should have an S on it anyway just trying some of those layered flowers now and I do get a few of them on I quite like them, they're really adding to the the depth within that um, cut file cluster, the floral cluster okay, happy with that, I'm going to go and glue all those bits down 
Um, and I just I like like to work my way around like all those little die cut pieces that are stuck underneath the cut file. I will adhere them down first because then I know they can stay in place. If there's larger pieces on top of my cut file, I'll take them off because I know where I can easily put them back. But if there's lots of smaller bits, then I will just take the time to actually glue them down or adhere them on top of the cut file. And then I will flip my cut file over and pop um, adhesive on it and then pop it in place. So everything's just kind of easily put back together. Um, but in this case, yeah, like I said, those big flowers, I knew where they were going. Okay, just having a look at some of these little circle chipboard pieces. Um, and I managed to get, I think, three of them. Yeah, three of them on. So we've got a little moon, a little butterfly, and then there's a smaller one with a rainbow. So I just tuck them in there. Again, I really struggle with circle pieces, but I felt like I could make it work on this because there's lots of circular pieces inside those um, die cut. Not, are they die cut? Layered flowers. <laughs> Um, a couple of little stickers, little flowers, I'm still umming and ahhing over those chipboard pieces, and there we go, I'll get that butterfly up there, I've just shuffled that around, I'm going to take off that moon, yeah that's gone, um, and just pop that other sticker butterfly up the top, And I think that's it for my embellishing. I'm just going to add some white Liquitex acrylic ink splatters over that pattern paper background. I really love the detail that this adds. It's just adds a kind of sprinkling of whimsy over my background. And then I do come in with some clear kind of iridescent sequins and just sprinkle them around. Again, adding a bit of whimsy and a lightness to the page. Little pops of interest. Um... But then after that, that's pretty much it for my layout. So I hope you enjoyed the process. Um, if you haven't checked out the floral cut files in the shop, make sure you do. Um, there's a whole section. If you look under um, in the shop, you can s sort by sections. And um, there's just a ton of florals in there. <laughs> so many gorgeous floral cut files. Um, yeah. So until next time. Bye, guys.